WBO has mandated that Janabek Alam Kanyali defend his unified WBO and IBF middleweight titles against his next mandatory challenger Hamza Shiraz. Both camps have 15 days to reach an agreement before the fight heads to a purse bid. This decision follows Janabek's recent dominant performance, where he remained undefeated, stopping Andrei Mihailovic in the ninth round on October 4th in Sydney, Australia. Janabek now 16-0 with 11 KOs, showed restraint throughout the fight, allowing the overmatched Mihailovic to last into the later rounds before finishing him with a powerful combination. Whether Shiraz camp will take the risk of challenging Janabek remains uncertain. While Shiraz boasts an unbeaten record of 21-0, 17 KOs, Janabek represents a significant leap in competition compared to the opponents the six feet three inches Brit has faced over the course of his seven-year professional career. The question now is whether Shiraz is truly ready to face a powerhouse like Janabek or if his management will continue to protect him by matching him with lower tier opponents in the UK. From an observer's perspective, it's hard to imagine Shiraz's team agreeing to this fight. Janabek's skill set and punching power seem like a mismatch for Shiraz, and that gap may never be closed. Despite Shiraz ranking as a contender, his performances suggest he's not yet at the level needed to challenge elite fighters, especially given his apparent vulnerability. Earlier this year on June 1st in Riyadh, Shiraz was staggered by Austin Williams, raising questions about his durability. Although Shiraz ultimately secured an 11th round knockout win, fans and analysts alike pointed to his shaky chin. His next fight only added fuel to that concern. On September 21st, Shiraz faced European champion Tyler Denny, a much lighter puncher and knocked him out in the second round at Wembley Stadium. The selection of Denny as an opponent, coming off Shiraz's uneven performance against Williams, suggests that his management team is wary of matching him against fighters with significant power. Instead, they opted for a safer route, pitting him against a less threatening opponent. However, if Shiraz is serious about making a name for himself on the world stage, he might be better off challenging Janabek for the IBF and WBO belts. Even if defeat seems likely, losing to Janabek, the top dog in the 160 pounds division, would be a less damaging outcome than facing the WBC champion Carlos Adams or the 41-year-old WBA title holder Eris Landilara, who might expose Shiraz even more brutally. In the eyes of fans, a loss to Janabek would be seen as a step-up attempt rather than a crushing defeat, as he is widely regarded as the best in the division. He is a fast learner and the kid can hit. He says, you know, his goal is to fight for a world title. You know, that's what he came to the United States to do. He's one of the greatest amateurs that ever lived. And he's ready to go. David Benavidez confirmed today via Instagram that his highly anticipated fight against WBA regular light heavyweight champion David Morell is officially on. According to Mike Coppinger, the bout is scheduled for January 25th in Las Vegas and will be broadcast on PBC's pay-per-view. This could be a risky move for Benavidez, as the younger and technically superior Cuban fighter Morell presents a significant challenge. Known for his power and technical skills, Morell has only one major disadvantage compared to Benavidez. Benavidez, experience and punch output. However, Morel is a natural at 175 pounds, whereas Benavidez, despite bulking up, still fights with the punch power of a 168 pounder. Benavidez acknowledged that he had several options, but ultimately chose to face the best possible opponent. Believing that an undefeated fighter like Morel would offer the biggest test, the stakes are high, as the winner of this bout will likely be positioned to face the victor of the undisputed light heavyweight clash between Artur Betterbiv and Dimitri. Bivol, scheduled for this Saturday. However, this fight could backfire for Benavides. Although he is already the WBC mandatory for Better Biff's 175 pounds title, he needs a convincing win against Morel to reignite interest in a showdown with either Better Biv or Bivol. Benavides' stock took a hit after his debut at light heavyweight in June, where he narrowly defeated Oleksandr Gvozdik in a lackluster performance. While the judges scored the fight widely in Benavides' favor, many felt it was a much closer contest especially as Gvozdik seemed to gain control in the later rounds. There were a lot of names on the table, but I wanted to give my fans the best fight possible. I reached out to David Morell and his team to make this happen, and we got the contract done. This fight is really going to be a banger. Two of the best in the division and two titles on the line. Date location to be announced shortly, said David Benavidez on Instagram today, revealing that he'll be fighting WBA regular light heavyweight champion David Morell next.
Morel who moved up to light heavyweight in August and won a unanimous decision against Radovoj Kolajdzic has also shown vulnerabilities. Although he hurt Kolajdzic several times during their fight, he couldn't finish him off. Nonetheless Morel's performance in his 175 pounds debut was considered stronger than Benavidez's against Vazdik. The stage is now set for a thrilling matchup between two of the most exciting fighters in the light heavyweight division. Will Benavidez rise to the occasion or will Morel prove to be the tougher opponent in this high stakes battle. Is Usyk a tougher fight than Wilder, Tyson? Usyk? Yeah. Hell no. Are you joking? Little midget beat a bodybuilder. Well, I ain't a bodybuilder, soccer. Tyson Fury has hinted on social media that he's considering adding more bulk to his frame for the highly anticipated rematch against unified heavyweight champion Oleksandr Usyk, scheduled for December 21st in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, in his last encounter with Usyk, which ended in a 12-round split decision loss. Fury weighed 262 pounds on May 18th. In a recent social media post, the 36-year-old Fury shared two photos, one showing him at 262 pounds during his fight with Usyk, and another from his trilogy bout against Deontay Wilder on October 2021, where he weighed in at 277 pounds. Fury seemed to reflect fondly on his 277 pounds form, suggesting that he may look to regain that size ahead of his rematch. However, the added weight may not be to Fury's advantage this time. At 36, he is no longer the fighter he was three years ago when he faced Wilder in 2021. Moreover, Fury isn't up against a fighter like Wilder, whose lack of technical prowess was exposed in their trilogy. The real challenge for Fury is his age. He's no longer the dominant force he was three or four years ago. It's unlikely he can return to the 277 pounds powerhouse that dominated Wilder. Even if he could, that version of Fury might still struggle against Usyk, as the extra weight could make him too slow, turning him into an easy target for Usyk's precise counterpunching. Fury's conservative approach in the first bout likely saved him from being knocked out by Usyk. Additionally, the questionable call by the referee, who gave Fury a standing eight count rather than stopping the fight in the ninth round when Usyk had him badly hurt, kept Fury in the contest. Usyk is a far more skilled and dynamic fighter than Fury, boasting superior agility, speed, and footwork. Even if Fury does bulk up to the high 270s, it is unlikely to help him this time. In fact, the added mass could slow him down, making him an even easier target for Usyk's sharp, accurate punches compared to their previous bout. For Fury, the smarter strategy might be to come in lighter for the rematch. Prioritizing speed over size, he'll need every ounce of quickness he can muster to avoid getting knocked out by the relentless Usyk. Subscribe. Please like and comment. This is very important for the development of the channel. See you later.